Cool. So I'm here with David Revering. Uh, David, where are you in the world today? I'm in Apple Valley, Minnesota. <laughs> Apple Valley. Is that south of Minnesota? Suburb of the Twin Cities. Above the Twin Cities. No, below. Below. It's okay. a southern suburb. Of and this is, it's not just a clever name. Like when, when it's apple picking season, that's where you go. Ah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I pick any apples down here. So it is no. just a clever name. No, okay. I go to Stillwater. <laughs> okay. Um, I invited you here because you attended last year's Life Sound Summit in 2019. And so I just wanted to ask you for people who might be thinking about attending this year, um, what is one of your biggest takeaways from last year's summit? The section that Robert Scoville did on uh, workflow and gain structure yeah. um, and understanding your meters, um, DBFS meters, and uh, kind of the bit rate on, on those meters and where you should kind of arrive at um, on your input and on your output and just, you know, the, the signal flow and gain structure throughout the console. Um, just trying to dial that in a lot better than I have in the past. So what changed for you? Like, what did you do differently in your work immediately after watching that video? Or sorry, it wasn't a video, it was live for you. So immediately after sure. attending that session, what did you do differently? Yeah, so I, I actually went and reconfigured my, my layout of my console to use my DCAs primarily for um, individual players uh, on, on the stage and then using my groups, my subgroups, for uh, groupings of instruments um, and just trying to understand and, and work through the gain structure of that and being able to get my input level to where it should be because I use peak meters and understanding where that peak is supposed to hit in order to get my you know RMS to where it's supposed to be, that sweet spot. And then trying to level that out throughout the entire console all the way to the output. Nice. And, and did it help? Uh, did it make a, a change? Yeah. It's, it's a work in progress. It's definitely, it's definitely gotten a lot better. Yeah, I've gotten way more control. Um, you know, I, I've even gone back and um, put my PA on matrices instead of using the, the main bus okay. uh, for my PA. And uh, I'm also able to now bring my PA down because I multi-track as well. So then I can also keep my main bus up and feed matrices for that and, and keep my level uh, stable throughout. So, you know, music parts and speaking parts are, are the same, you know, so I can control that a little bit better. Cool. Um, well, David, thank you for sharing that with us. Um, it's a beautiful day here in Minneapolis. Do you have anything fun planned outside? today i know you've done a lot of stuff you're doing karate <laughs> classes you're doing yard work uh what else do you have planned for today uh you know it, it is beautiful and sunny i might jump on my motorcycle and and hit uh wisconsin 35 down by Prescott. Uh, uh, all right david thanks a lot cool man thanks <laughs>